Man, this is so stupid. I can't believe Cecilia, the girl of my dreams, rejected my offer of being my girlfriend, and instead took that British nerd Michael. So unfair. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R I think taking my mind off of her will help me cope with it. But what should I do that'll make me feel better? Oh yeah. I forgot. I got my laptop back because I got ungrounded. I think using my computer will cheer me up. Yes, let's do that. Okay, now that I've taken a seat, let's see what I can do. I think I will go on Facebook and see what's going on. Okay, I am now on Facebook. Let's see what's new. You know, catching up on what has happened to other people around the city is pretty cool, and... Hey, is that Michael? I never even knew he had a Facebook account. Let's go ahead and check it out. Interesting. It seems like Michael's entire account consists of reviews and posts about trains, and posts about his lame show. Nothing seems too out of the ordinary so far, except... What? I can't believe what I am seeing right now. Those two were actually hanging out with each other at the park, without me? Are there any more posts like this? Are you serious? No. That should be me. G R R R R R R R. I swear, if I see one more image like this, I will. Oh my god. No 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 no. Why would Michael have the audacity to post that trash? G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R. You know what? That is it. I want to take revenge on Michael for stealing my girl. But how should I do that? I've got it. Since Michael has autism and is very sensitive to certain things, like being bullied, I will just send him direct messages and insult him, call him names, send him a picture of an overweight version of himself, and even though I hate the Alanostiums with a passion, I will include a picture of the mask and send it to him so that he will get scared and traumatized, that way, he'll learn not to mess with me and not take the girl that I love. <laughs> okay. The first thing I will do is change my entire profile account so that Michael won't know it's me. And also, since he likes trains, I will just impersonate Thomas from Thomas and Friends, and then go from there. This will be so much fun. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I will set everything up right now. Thank you guys so much for coming over today. It's nice to know that I have best friends that are willing to spend time with me, especially since it can get quite lonely living without my parents. You are welcome Michael. You know that we are always willing to hang out with you, no matter what. I agree with Cecilia. And hey, if you ever need some company around, you can give me, Audrey, Cecilia, or any of the others a call, and we'll be there to come for a visit. I concur on what both Todd and Cecilia said. You're a good guy Michael, 
and we'll do anything to help you out, or make you feel better. Oh, thank you guys so much. You guys are such good friends to me. It means a lot. You're welcome once again, Michael. Anything to help a friend and a boyfriend out. You're absolutely 100% right, Cecilia. Anyways, if you don't mind us asking, is it okay for me and Todd to hang out in the backyard? Both of us want some fresh air. Sure thing guys. You are free to do so, as long as you don't mess anything up. Thank you Michael. We will return inside the house once we're done. Okay then. See you guys in a little bit. And also, Michael, is it okay for me to chill out in the guest room for a little bit? I want to take some time to relax. Yes, Cecilia, you are free to do so. Just remember to keep things tidy, okay? Thank you, Mikey. Just remember, if you need me, just call my name, and I will be there. I will be back soon, okay? Okay, Cecilia. See you in a little bit. Alright, since I have some alone time, I will turn on the television, and see what I can watch. I wonder if any documentaries about trains are on right now. Oh. It looks like I've received a message and a friend request from someone. I will accept it and see what they want. Oh dear. I am not liking the looks of this. What? I do not look like that. What is this person's deal? What the heck was that noise? It sounded like someone screamed really loudly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Michael, what happened to you? Are you okay? No. I am not okay at all. I was just using my phone, and then all of a sudden, a troll came over and messaged me on Facebook. And they sent me all of these nasty messages about me and my autism. The troll called me a coward, a loser, and also said I was diseased. Just because I'm autistic, they then sent me a picture of me being overweight, and they jump scared me with the mask as a sick surprise, and I am terrified of the mask. I am being cyberbullied. Please help me. <laughs> Oh my god. Michael, I am very sorry about what happened to you. You shouldn't be treated like that at all. Just try to take some deep breaths, and it will all be okay. I cannot believe someone on Facebook trolled, insulted, and scared Michael like that. You are not a coward, you are not overweight, you are not a loser, and you are most certainly not diseased either. Whoever did this crap will pay big time. I agree with Todd. We need to find out more information about this troll that's attacking Michael, so that they can receive consequences for their actions. Cecilia, can I take a look at Michael's phone? Sure you may, Audrey. Go ahead. Thank you Cecilia. Now, what was this troll's name? <coughs> I think the name was Thomas the Tank Engine. Alright. Thank you Michael. Now, let's see here.
Huh? That's odd. There is no posts from the account. And why would Thomas from Thomas and Friends insult Michael? He is a character from a toddler's show, and he's also a train, meaning that it's impossible for him to use a phone. Try and look at the user's information. What is their email address, and where do they live at? And if it's possible, what school has the person attended at, or is currently attending to? Okay Todd, I am checking right now. Okay, let's see here. Oh heck no. I can't believe this. What is it, Audrey? I just figured out that it wasn't Thomas the Tank Engine that was insulting and terrorizing Michael. It was actually your archenemy, Dylan Dawson. His email was listed as dylan.dawson123 at gmail.com. He resides in Vion City, and he listed Vion High School as his current education, which is where all of us attend school as well. Wait, what? You're telling us that Dylan was behind this whole mess all along? Oh 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 oh. I can't believe Dylan would go as far as to cyberbully Michael. And I bet you he did that because he was jealous that I took Michael to be with me instead of him. You're probably right, Cecilia. And I already had a suspicion that there was already a user named Thomas the Tank Engine on Facebook. I also know for a fact that Dylan did this to get Michael back for taking you as his girlfriend, even though he doesn't deserve you at all after all the stuff he's done to you two. I had a good feeling it was that jerk that cyberbullied me. He just doesn't know when to leave us alone. Oh my god. I can't believe he did that to Michael. That Dylan is so gonna pay for all of the nonsense that he has caused. How about we call his parents to let them know what happened? Yes, that sounds like a good idea to me. Todd, Audrey, do you mind calling Dylan's parents, while I try to calm my call down? Yeah, yeah. sure we, we can. can. We'll step outside and do that while you calm Michael down. We can also invite our other friends and our creator, Vans Productions TM, to give him warrant style punishments as a consequence. Is that okay with you? Yes. That sounds splendid. You guys may do that right now. Okay, we will call his parents right now and tell them what happened. See you in a bit. Come on Audrey, let's go to the backyard and call Dylan's parents. Okay. I am right behind you, Todd. Here, Michael, come and give me a hug. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mikey. It's all gonna be okay. You don't need to cry anymore. Todd and Audrey are currently calling Dylan's parents, the others, and Vance to sort all of this out, and Dylan will get in trouble for what he did. I know that. I just can't believe Dylan would say all of those nasty things about me and make fun of my appearance, just because I am autistic, doesn't mean I'm scared of everything. I'm just sensitive to certain things and bullying is one of them. I'm also not overweight. I do my best to take care of my body every day, and he doesn't seem to realize that. He also knows that I am absolutely terrified of the mask, yet he keeps on terrorizing me with him whenever he feels like it. Life was great until I had to move away from my parents and the United Kingdom to move to Vyond City, one of the most crime-filled cities on the earth. We have to deal with crimes, horrible people and violence every single day. Why did I ever move to this horrible city in the first place? <laughs> Shh. It's all right, Michael. No need to be sad anymore. We will all take care of this mess. Please don't let this make you move away from Vion City. Remember the reason you moved to Vion City in the first place? The reason you moved here was because you wanted to pursue your dream as being a train conductor. And look at where that has gotten you now. You have a nice, beautiful house, you work really hard and do your job really well, and you, along with myself, have the highest paid salary out of all of the workers, and you have a lot of friends at your side. Your parents and siblings would be proud of you if they were here right now. You have a lot of support from literally everyone you know. Be proud of that. You know. 
I guess you are right. Thank you, Ceci, that means a lot to me. You are welcome, Michael. Like I said earlier, try to take some deep breaths, just like we did last time. Can you do that for me? I guess I will try. Good. You can begin now. Okay. You are doing a good job. Just continue what you're doing, and you'll feel better. Amazing, Michael. You're calming down already. Take some more breaths until you feel like you're calm. Okay? Okay, Cecilia. There we go. You're all done. Do you feel better now? Yes, I feel much better. Thank you for helping me relax, Cecilia. You're welcome, Michael. I am always here for you. No matter what happens to us, I'll make sure you're okay first. I mean that. Thank you for being such a good girlfriend to me. Now, let's go handle this Dylan situation once and for all. Good call. While Todd and Audrey called Dylan's parents, how about we call our other friends and Vance to tell them what happened? All right? Yes. Let's do that right now. All right. You know what, sweet pea? Today seems like a nice weekend. Don't you think, Jill? Yes, Daddy. It does feel like a nice day, especially since summer has already started. I can't wait for all the rest of the activities we are going to do in the next couple of weeks. I am looking forward to those activities as well, sweetie. Let's sit back and enjoy the rest of our afternoon, okay? Okay, Dad. Oh. It looks like someone is calling me. I wonder who it is. Oh. It's one of the students from Dylan's high school, Audrey Dixon. I wonder what she is calling me about. Hello. This is Mr. Dawson speaking. How may I help you? Hello, Mr. Dawson. Audrey Dixon speaking. I am calling to inform you that your son did something very, very bad. What? Dylan did something bad? Oh no! Not again. What did my son do this time? Don't tell me it involves him bothering Michael and Cecilia again. Unfortunately, Dylan did bother one of them, and it was Michael. And it was something actually way worse than bothering him. That doesn't sound good at all. What did he do exactly? Well, earlier today, while me, Todd, and Cecilia were visiting Michael's house for a visit, Michael received very horrible messages on Facebook, and it was all Dylan's doing. He did what? Oh my god. Why would he do such a thing? Can you tell me in detail what Dylan did? Gladly. First, Dylan impersonated himself as Thomas from Thomas and Friends so he wouldn't get caught, and when Michael accepted his friend request, Dylan insulted Michael by calling him a coward, a loser, and he also told Michael he was diseased just because he has autism. Then, he sent Michael a picture of an overweight version of himself on a weight scale, and it had the word fatso on it, which was horribly made. Finally, he jump scared Michael by using the mask as a screamer and had him jump right at him and had the scary maze scream sound effect added on as well. He then screamed very loudly, and we all ran to see what happened. After he told us, I checked his phone to find out who sent Michael the messages, and when I looked at the information, I figured out it was Dylan who sent Michael all the messages. His email was shown, his location was shown, and it listed beyond high school under education, which we all know where he attends school at, and that is all that happened. Michael got so upset because of this mess, and Cecilia had to calm him down. So, basically, Michael was bullied by Dylan, and it was all just because Michael was taken by Cecilia, and Dylan was just jealous Cecilia didn't take him as his girlfriend. What? Oh 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 o
I can't believe he did all of that. I didn't raise Dylan to behave like this at all. And I thought I already closed down all of his social media accounts. I'm completely outraged. Thank you so much for telling me this, Audrey. I apologize immensely for what my son has done. I will make sure to punish him severely. Actually, all of us were already thinking about teaching him a lesson and giving him punishments. We were thinking that, since Dylan decided to cyberbully Michael, we would punish him severely by giving him a Warren-style punishment day. We are calling our other friends and Vanced Productions to help out hand Dylan severe punishments for what he did. Is it okay for you and your family to join in? Of course, we can join in with you guys. He deserves to get punished for doing everything that he did. Where will we be giving Dylan the punishments? We will be at the Beyond City Park to hand him the punishments in about an hour. So be sure to be there. And while you're at it, you can bring your daughter and your wife as well, so that they can punish Dylan alongside everybody. Sounds good? Yes. Sounds good. I will call him downstairs to ground him right now. All right. Goodbye, Audrey. See you at the park. Goodbye. Daddy, what is going on? Jill, your brother, Dylan, went on Facebook and cyberbullied Michael by sending him nasty insults and making fun of him. He also jump scared Michael with a screamer of the mask and it traumatized Michael badly. What? Oh my goodness. That's terrible. We need to call him downstairs right now and ground him. That's what we are gonna do right now. And after we ground him, we'll go pick up your mom at the Vion Television Studios and tell her what happened, and we will then drive to the park to give him punishments along with Michael's friends and Vance Productions TM. Is that okay with you? Yes, I am okay with that. That boy is gonna learn today. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. That was so hilarious. It felt so good to insult Michael and make fun of him with the image I made out of him on Photoshop, and I bet he cried like a baby and got traumatized when he got jump scared with the mask. That will teach him not to take Cecilia away from me. That was so worth it. G R R R R R R R R R Dylan 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 Antonio Dawson Get down here right now You're in major trouble Oh no I am screwed I hope they didn't find out what I did Um 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 Hi dad and hi Jill Why do you two look so angry Dylan I just got off the phone with Audrey, and she said you'd bullied Michael on Facebook with insults, a picture, and you also jump scared him. Is this true? And you better tell me right freaking now. Well, um, 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 um. Dylan, stop doing that crap and tell me what you did, right now. I mean it. Okay, okay. You caught me red-handed. Yes, I did cyberbully Michael. I did that because I was angry about Michael being Cecilia's boyfriend and seeing images on the internet of them being together, so I sent rude messages to him and scared him because of it. I am so sorry about this. I promise I won't do that again. Um, Dad, are you okay? Oh. 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 Oh 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 Dylan Antonio Dawson. I cannot believe you would go inside by Billy Michael on Facebook. How could you make Michael go through such a traumatizing experience like that? You know he has autism, and things like that can affect him badly. You also took the identity of Thomas the Tank Engine so he wouldn't know it was you, which is catfishing. You can get in serious trouble because of that. It was also dumb of you to choose Thomas, because he is a train, not a person. And you did all of that because you were jealous of him. What an idiotic thing to do. And also, cyberbullying on Facebook could get your account removed, because that violates their services. You know that rule, but you didn't comply at all. She's right, Dylan. Additionally, you also said he was a coward for being autistic, which is not true at all, and you also called him a loser as well. How sick of you. And also, how dare you say he was diseased because he's autistic? You. Don't. Ever. Say. That. To. People. 
at all. How would you feel if someone called you disease because you're autistic? You wouldn't like it at all, would you? And to make matters worse, you made fun of his appearance by showing a picture of an overweight version of himself, which was just wrong of you to do. And then, you had the nerve to jump scare Michael with the mask, even though you know he's afraid of him. You scared him so badly that he almost had another panic attack. Why would you do that? Why? Just why? Me and your mother didn't raise you to be a bully. We raised you to become a respectful and well-behaved kid. And you didn't show any of that today. How could you do such a thing? But guys, I am so sorry. I only wanted to do this to teach him a lesson. No, you're lying. You did this because you thought taking revenge on him was a good idea, even though it isn't. Attacking and bullying someone isn't gonna solve your problems. Maybe if you weren't such a bad troublemaker, you would have gotten Cecilia by now. And your apology will not work this time. Cyberbullying is one of the main causes of suicide, depression, and anxiety every year, and your lucky Michael doesn't have any of those problems, or else you would have gotten in big trouble. And do you see how this whole mess affected Michael? He was so upset that Cecilia had to help him calm down. You emotionally abused a 16-year-old autistic boy who is just trying to make a living for himself, and you also made him break down in tears. You are such a huge jerk. Exactly. Keep this behavior up, and you'll be arrested for a very long time. You know what? I've had enough of this. You are grounded 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 for three months. And while you are grounded, you will be eating nothing but vegetables, fruits, and, of course, lumpy potatoes, for every single meal you had, including dessert, and we strongly mean it. Now, for your punishments, we'll keep them a secret for now. Get yourself in the freaking car right now. We are gonna pick up your mother, and then we are headed to the Vion City Park. Wait, why are we going to the park? You will see. I'm not telling you again, to go outside, and get inside of the car. Go, now. Okay, fine. Wow. Come on Jill, let's go pick up your mother. Okay, I am right behind you dad. Dylan Dawson, what in the world has gotten into you, young man? You know that cyberbullying is a terrible thing to do. And the fact that you did it to that nice young boy Michael, is worse. But mom, I didn't mean to. I did it as a joke. That is not true, Dylan. Your classmates have told me why you actually did it, and as your mother, I have to say, that was really dumb and heartless of you to do that. I agree with you, honey. And Dylan, I hope you are excited for what's gonna happen at the park. What is gonna happen at the park? Me, your mom, your sister, Michael, Cecilia, Todd, Audrey, and the rest of their friends, along with Vance Productions, will be giving you a huge punishment day, and we will be giving you Warren-style punishments. What? No, 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 no. I don't want to have a Warren style punishment day. Please, don't give me punishments. Well Dylan, that's just too bad. You need to be punished for the actions you have done today, and giving you a punishment day is the punishment you will receive. Now, stop yelling and be quiet until we get to the park. Yeah, what mom said. Wow Dylan, just wow. This has got to be one of the worst things you have ever done to Michael. I mean, first, you slammed his head against a locker, and now, you went ahead and cyber-bullied him on Facebook, really badly. And since you thought it was a good idea to do so, Todd and Audrey, Cecilia, and Michael, have invited me, as well as the rest of your classmates, and your parents and your sister, to give you Warren-style punishments. All of us know how this works already, so there is no need for me to explain it. There is no backing down from this, and if you even try to run away from us, we will stop you and hand you even more punishments. So, let the punishments commence. Okay. I will go first. Your first consequence is that you will be banned from using the internet and the computer, and all of the social media accounts you have will be permanently deleted, and you can't get them back. Ever. 
you will have this consequence until further notice, and the only social media website you will be allowed to use is TikTok, which I know you don't like, because I don't like it either. Your second consequence is that you will be forced to sit down and watch countless hours of train videos every single day for the rest of the year. You will not do anything else besides that, and you will not be able to get up and do anything else, except for bathroom breaks or when it's time for you to eat, until further notice. Your third consequence is that you will only be able to play games that are rated CE or rated E for everyone. That means you can't play E10 plus rated games, T rated games, M rated games, or especially AO rated games, at all. You won't be playing games that you like such as Grand Theft Auto 5, Minecraft, Among Us, Fortnite, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Call of Duty, or Super Mario Odyssey, until further notice. Your fourth consequence is that you will be forced to listen to music that you despise, such as Baby Shark, Nyan Cat, the Gummy Bear Song, Frank Sinatra Music, Michael Jackson Music, and other music you dislike, for hours on end, until further notice. Your fifth consequence is that for the rest of the summer, the air conditioning in your room will be set to 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the rest of summer, and will be set to 0 degrees in the winter and fall. As a bonus, if there is any snow in front of our houses, you will be forced to snowplow our front yards, rake the leaves, and mow our lawns, with no breaks or pay until further notice. Your sixth consequence is that you'll be receiving over 50 bell beatings and spankings every single day, until further notice. And we don't care how much it hurts. It will happen at a random time every day for the rest of the year. Your seventh consequence is that you will be forced to study subjects that you don't like in school, which is pretty much all of them, and you will be forced to study them with me, every day including summer and winter breaks, until further notice. Your eighth consequence is that you will be forced to do many chores around the house, such as taking out the trash, washing the dishes, cleaning the countertops and tables, cleaning the bathroom, doing all of our laundry, fixing up all of the beds, and much more, with no breaks, water breaks, or any allowance until you learn to become a better behaved person. Your ninth consequence is that you will be forced to do very intense workouts every weekend, such as running for 30 minutes, doing 200 pull-ups, 200 jumping jacks, and 200 sit-ups, until further notice. And we will only stop you once your body gets really tired. Your tenth consequence is that you will be forced to watch movies that are G-rated and movies based off of preschool shows, such as most of the Disney films, Thomas and the Magic Railroad, Barney's Great Adventure, and more. That means no PG-rated films, no PG-13 rated films, no R-rated films, or especially no NC-17 rated films, until further notice. Your eleventh consequence is that you will be forced to watch Viandas that you don't like at all, such as Vance Productions Trademark, WPPF 9000, Brainiac Adam, James Victor, Lucy Precure Yes Lucy Nickel Yes, Glaris Arts, Samster 5677, African Vulture, Laughing Bob 100, and more. And you have to watch every single video they've created, on loop, until your grounding time is over. Your twelfth consequence, is that you can only watch shows that are from Nick Jr., Disney Jr., CBC Kids, PBS Kids, CBBC, and other shows that are aimed towards toddlers and little kids, until further notice. And since you can't let go of the fact that Cecilia and Michael are dating, they have been given the honor to hand you two more punishments. Let him have it, you two. Okay, Vance. Dylan, your 13th consequence is that you will be forced to write a 10,000 word essay on why bullying others is not a good thing to do, and you will not be plagiarizing or copying stuff from any other sources, and it has to be completely original. You will work on this essay every day until you are done with it. And if there is even a smidge of plagiarism on it, you will have to redo the whole essay again. And finally, your fourteenth and final consequence is that everywhere you go, there will be a tracking device on your leg, which will track your location, your coordinates, and what building you're inside of, and you will have security cameras installed all around your room as well. If you go anywhere else besides the places you are supposed to be at, then you will be caught and go to juvenile detention. Also, if you take the tracking device off your leg, you will get in trouble with the police, and they'll arrest you. 
you will have the tracking device on your leg until further notice. And with that, those are all of the punishments that you will be receiving. I hope these 14 punishments will give you time to look back at your stupid actions today. And I hope this teaches you a lesson on not to cyber bully anyone in Vian City, ever. You will be having these punishments for your 5 month grounding period, and we won't stop giving you those punishments until your grounding time is over. And if you don't abide with these punishments, we will give you 14 more of them, and you will be grounded for an even longer period of time. Now, Dylan, what do you have to say to Michael? I am severely sorry, Michael. I promise I won't do this to you ever again. Apology unaccepted. Well, then, that settles it. Starting tomorrow, your punishments will be put in place. Now, go, go home, home, go, 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 go to your room, go straight to bed. Get out of sight now. You guys suck. One day, I will get you all back for this. Wow. Oh, just shut up, Dylan. And if you don't stop crying like I motor car, we will turn you into one and have you sold at the Vion prices right. Anyways, now that Dylan is gone, I just wanted to thank you all so much for agreeing to be a part of punishing Dylan. He will definitely pay for all of the stuff he did to me today. I appreciate all of you so much. You're welcome, Michael. Say, how about we all gather together for a group hug? Good idea, Vance. Everyone, gather around.